I'll take Martin Odegaard. What's your best price? I just gave you my best price. Uh, yeah, but a better price. That's the best price. It is cold. We're not in the Bay right now. We're not in Atlanta. Uh, we are in London, Farnborough to be exact. This is supposed to be one of the bigger shows for London. And honestly, I walked in, mind blown. I'm really focused on trying to sell stuff. Usually when I go to shows, it's usually buying, but I really kind of like been building my, you know, my inventory up for this show. So literally took a flight, landed straight there, took, took a train, and now we're here. International, let's do it. Then look how fancy this looks. They even have like a trading area. Look how big this trading area is, man. Just absurd. I mean, technically you could be kind of like be a vendor if you're being trying to low key and try to be cheap about it. Um, but we ain't gonna try to do that. But here we go. This is kind of like, I guess, breaking area per se. They have concessions and everything. Um, and this is like one part of the show. It's kind of crazy. Appreciate how much trading area they have. I think, I feel like this might be a problem though, um, especially as a vendor. You don't want too many people trying to be a, a, a vendor within the vendors, right? So I heard they actually rented out this whole entire space. So it's actually even bigger, but obviously, you know, supply and demand, right? It's your first show. You can't be too big. You can aim high, uh, nothing wrong with that. And this is kind of just a layout of how the vendors look. Right across from the most random stand, we have a very relevant stand. <laughs> no disrespect to Fuji Jitsu, but you know, I was here last time in London. Me and Troy were talking about like, there's literally no card stores at all. No trading card stores at all. And you guys yep. open one right now. It. How long has it been? It's gonna be, it's opening this week. We're really, gonna, big time. Yeah, once we do this. Okay. Yeah. When, when is it gonna open? In about what? a week's time. Yeah, hopefully. Oh man, I'm soft, disappointed. It's a soft open at the moment, but the, the ground open is okay. one or two weeks. So, really excited about I'm it. I'm disappointed. I'm only here for a few days. Oh, no, I'm disappointed, man. I know, I know. Yeah, and make sure, guys, Kaboom Sports Trading Cards. Check it out. So, US, okay. US, I like this scarf, yeah. But it commemorates the uh, USA versus England in June 2020. Beat your mother. Beat your mother. <laughs> that, that's, uh, that's class. <laughs> I'm coming back for that. It's yours. No! Wait. Oh, well, thank you so much. Can't wait to show my mom this. All right, so when we pulled this, what, what were you thinking? Let, let's be honest, I was on a trip to Sweden when you're doing the... Yeah, yeah. I was actually it's in bed. That's like major <laughs> alpha <laughs> energy, bro. <laughs> okay, the Ronaldo spot for Eminence is not cheap. <laughs> I love how you just went to bed <laughs> and then you wake up, you get a Ronaldo Eminence. <laughs> how much is this Musiala? I'm not, I'll be honest, I'm not... Whatever you're interested in, we can have a look okay. and then we can do it. That's fine. You want to do 500 quid in? Five. All right. Look at that. Easy deals right here. So you want me to tell you how much I got this for? Cash, one point, uh, no, it was two. Two. Sometimes you gotta take the L's. Gotta take the L's. Craziest part is Ronaldo's market has just been like, like just down, down, down. So, but we made the trade. Some quick little tiny cards. You got this nice Rashford. Green cane. Ah, some Japan stuff. Odegaard. And there's Musiala. Can't go wrong with Musiala, so. And some cash. Wait, am I even looking the right way? Oh, there it is. I, went, I was looking the wrong way, bro. You, you want to do partial trade, right? No. I don't know why it's at seven, though. Why? What happened to it? Would you do uh, 150? Oh, you're a firm. I'll do 170. 170? Yeah. Oh man, uh, I think I'm gonna have to say no for now. Really? Then. Yeah, yeah, I think 150 is for where I'm at. If you change your mind, I'm here. Yeah, yeah, no so, yeah. worries. Good? Yeah. Awesome, well, appreciate the deal. Thank you so much, yeah. And uh, I bought this McAllister Gold Wave for a pretty penny. And I think I'm gonna try to crack it and grade it because that's really my only hope. There's always one moment in the show where I just do something just kind of questionable. And right here is my gambling degenerate nature cam comes out. So I'm trying to do a deal with my boy Max. Always tough negotiations. <laughs> Damn, there's even a transcendent auto about to end two in four days. Oh my god, that this is a risk. Can you do 175 and the RVP? Yeah? Oh, he's he's gonna take the Diego Maradona jersey number. The question is, can I have it in the slab mag? Oh my god. That's the question. And in return, what we get is a trophy case. This is my first eminence. Did not think it was gonna be Luka Modric, but here it is. And another RVP and some cash. Good vibes. We're here to make deals, bro. And I'm dead right now. Like I thought I was, I had a lot of energy two hours ago, but I'm like, I'm done. 
uh, yeah, I'm just casually looking through this case and um, yeah, <laughs> there's some big cards in here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, let's just start off with some, some small stuff. You got the power of vinyl. Firmino, the one one super. I, I want this one, but there's more one of ones in here. Oh God. So they have this Jude. Oh my God. Are you, are you lost, sir? I got my boy Arrow right here. We're trying to make, work out. We've, we've done multiple deals. So the story is every time I buy a card from Ariel, it seems like every 10 minutes he has more cards that comes up. He just bought these two blasters from me. What, what did you propose? So I bought these at 75 for both. And then I want this one. So I value these at 50 each. <laughs> this guy's guy trying to play me, bro. You would do great in the States, by the way. What are you thinking, Ariel? Tell me, what, what, what's wrong with my card? You do 155. No, I'm not doing 155. 180 is the best I could do. You didn't ask me if it was dollars or pounds. No, oh, pounds. No, it's pounds, bro. It's 170, bro, dude. I'll go 175 and that's it. You worked me on the Merlin too. I think 170 is good. Yeah, you had a small card to throw in? How about that? Yeah, yeah they throw a small card. I gotta respect it, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine, bro. So we just did a deal with Ariel, man. The green Musiala, I think you'll do really well with this one. The future, degenerate right here, yeah. I like it. 200? Man, that sounds so tempting. That's not bad. That's not bad. I just don't know why I would need them. I didn't know Match Attacks did Super Frank. Yeah, yeah. I think that was the first year. Is this the first I think, year? I think it was 2020 or 2021. Man, this sales pitch is getting stronger and stronger. I didn't nine as well. I didn't actually, I thought it was an eight. <laughs> I actually thought it was an You don't know what you traded for? You're going I did, I genuinely, I, that, oh, come on, right. Um, do you have room on 200? No, no, oh, you're, oh, he's just straight, straight no, bro. I, think that's a good price. I, think I forgot, when we, when we did our deal, did you move down? Yeah, I did. I you did, did it? Uh, all right, well, I guess, um, it's a Sunday, why not? Let's do it. There you go. <laughs> First one of one match attacks. Did not know they exist. There are people that PC Yuri just don't know. I'm not in love with the price, but it's not too bad where I'm like, oh, you know, I scoff at it. And plus, supers just look so good, regardless of match attacks or not. How many card shows have you been to? It's my first one. It's the first time. It's my first day. And how many cards do you have in your collection? Uh, quite a few, actually. Zero. Today's gonna be his first one. All right. How much are you willing to do for it? For you? Yeah. I mean, I'll do 50, but that's it. Like, you know, so friends and family discount, 45, done deal. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they, they think they can hose me, man. No, it's I a neighbor think... discount. It's a neighbor discount. I'll take Martin Odegaard. What's your best price? I just gave you my best price. Uh, yeah, but a better price. That's the best price. All right, let's do this. 50? Oh, his first card in his collection, bro. Proud day for me. It's quite a good card. I bought it for 80, so but yeah. I, I'm down to go down there with my first card. Don't mind the Let me give you some um, SLI wisdom, all right? So when you walk up to a table, mm. it's a lot harder to sell because you're, uh, you're already coming up with a disadvantage, okay. right? Because they, they, you're, you're already going like, hey, can you buy my stuff? Yeah. You, it's like asking a girl, bro. You look like you know you're good at that. Nah, I, got, <laughs> I haven't been. <laughs> you know someone wanted to trade it. Really? Yeah, yeah. You should have done it. Sometimes it's better to like get multiple cards really? and then sell them for cheaper. He sold the auto guard. Yeah, he sold it to Troy. <laughs> to Troy, oh my God. I had it. Oh, he flipped, <laughs> he, he, he flipped it on you. Oh. What are you going to do with the money now? I'm going to do with the money. I'm going to buy a new card and I'm going to flip it for triple. There we go. There we go. Dude, they grow up so fast. Right, Pretty much the end of the show, right? It is. You know, yeah. I barely got to talk to you. I know. You, I know. That's, what, that's, that's a good show, though. If we're yes. not talking to each other, we're really it's busy and everything. It's productive, I think, for both of us. Yeah. That's always when we come out the lost, lost, it's always a good time. It's a really happy time. So yeah, CardCon, I think, was amazing. Um, it's a good stepping stone. There's definitely, you know, like some stuff that they got to work out, but that's just how every first shows are. And this is just the beginning. We're going to be back. Europe, we're gonna be back. London, we're gonna be back. April. Stay tuned. April's the London card show, so we'll be out there. Yep. See y'all.